I read an article last week and it was about the potential recession. We're not in one, but maybe if there is one in the housing market. Will a recession crash the housing market? That's a great question and most everyone's asking it. For anyone that went through the housing crash in the late 2000s, this current situation feels a little bit too familiar. If you're too young to remember it, my bet is you're getting the message that the housing market and the economy is in trouble and looks a lot like the last crash. Inflation is soaring, the economy is shrinking, the stock market is losing value. Google searches for, is the US officially in a recession, are trending. Those that remember the late 2000s are wondering if we couldn't be facing another housing crash. In the late 2000s, housing was to blame for a years long financial bloodbath. People lost their homes and their fortunes, bad mortgages imploded. Millions of homes went into foreclosure. Countless homes sat empty. Millions of homeowners were financially underwater and would lose money if they sold their home. I can't tell you the number of homes that we sold where the seller had to bring cash to the table just to get rid of it. Those were tough days, tough conversations. Thousands of people walked away from their homes and suddenly banks were in the real estate business. That's what short sales are all about. Unemployment soared, businesses closed their doors. For anyone that did go through the crash, they don't want to go through that again. I certainly don't. But with what's happened the last couple of years, skyrocketing home prices, ridiculous bidding wars, massively inflating prices even more, big money investors bringing truckloads of cash, making it nearly impossible for ordinary buyers to win, it seems to ring a lot too familiar during the housing run-up just before the last crash. It's no wonder so many are seeking a reassurance and asking questions, could we be facing another crash? It makes total sense. But this time things are different. In fact, many economists think housing, instead of the cause of any downturn, may be the saving grace that leads us out of a recessionary period. Most experts don't see housing in a bubble or even a threat to the economy, despite median home prices rising nationally more than 31% in just two years. This time, there's many more buyers than there are homes for sale. Demand far outweighs supply. This is a complete reversal of the market conditions during the last crash. Part of the cause of the crash back then was lending practices. Anyone who could fog a mirror could get a loan. These days, lending standards are much more strict and likewise, buyers are much more qualified. That is good news, but it doesn't mean the economy is recession-proof. Two quarters of negative growth can be a warning of rough roads ahead. This year, the GDP dropped 1.6% the first quarter, 0.9% in the second, though this can be adjusted and it probably will. High unemployment is typically a feature of the recession, and that is just not the case these days. In fact, unemployment is at a half century low. The other day, the jobs report, we gained 528,000 jobs. That's good news. In a full-fledged recession, employers wouldn't be complaining about not being able to find workers. Recessions tend to coincide with a shrinking economy. Yes, the economy is slowing down, but all things considered, not by much. Jerome Powell said the nation isn't in a recession. The reason is there's areas of the economy that are performing, can't say performing, that are performing just too well. The National Bureau of Economic Research makes the official determination a recession. They haven't done so yet. We're all waiting. So why are things different now? Even if more of a downturn occurs, widespread unemployment just doesn't seem likely, which is a hallmark of recession. Plus, for any homeowner that does find themselves in a tight spot, selling their home now after years of rising values means they'll have at least some money in the bank and a chance at a fresh start. Here's the main point of this argument. Without a ton of foreclosed, distressed, and short sale homes flooding the market, prices should remain strong. The environment is completely different these days. At the same time, the housing market has been shaken to its core. As mortgage rates rise, a portion of tapped out home buyers have to step back and wisely so. Some can't qualify for a mortgage anymore or some can't qualify for the kind of home they really want. 
Others just don't want to buy at what they see as the peak of the market. And some are so concerned about a recession, which is why I'm making this video, they're taking a wait and see approach for their home buying efforts. Makes sense. With so many potential home buyers holding off, fewer homes are selling, bidding wars have all but vanished, offers over ask are not the norm anymore, home inspections and all contingencies are back, and sellers are being forced to slash their listing price just to get their home to sell. If the economy does tank, mortgage rates would likely fall, buyers would come back to the market in force, home sales would rise again, giving the economy an overall boost. Housing might just come to the rescue of struggling economy. Housing in the U.S. had a decade's worth of underbuilding, which again means more demand than supply. This imbalance should keep home prices stable. But will a recession crash the housing market? Unlikely. If you like this video, tell a friend, give it a like to help me spread the word, and subscribe so you'll know when the next one drops. Thanks for watching.